I'm going to be accepting 100 DoorDash orders in a row. Sounds like a stupid idea, right? Ever since DoorDash has come out and said that the higher your acceptance rate is, the more priority you get to the big orders, I've wanted to go out and test it. My acceptance rate currently stands at 41%. As we go about this challenge, I will be testing two different things, the dollar per mile ratio of orders and also the average order payout and comparing those across orders 1 through 25, 26 through 50, 51 through 75, and 76 through 100. If what DoorDash says is true, I should be getting the best orders from 76 through 100 because that's when my acceptance rate will be the highest. Let's go find out. The first day ended up getting cut short because of some personal things, but we were able to get four orders done and make $24.50 in one hour and 16 minutes. I just had a DoorDash pickup for Alex. You said DoorDash for Alex? Yeah. Perfect, go ahead and pull forward. Thanks. Day two, we were able to go out a bit longer, and even though things started off with some really bad orders, as we continued to grind through and accept everything, the orders did start to get better. Get four backs? Yeah, for Kirk. Okay, we're just waiting on the food for that. It'll be just a minute. Okay, thanks. <laughs> We were actually able to make $70 in a little over three hours. Not too bad for accepting every order. We had already done 12 orders and we're already seeing a slight uptick in order quality. Now on to day three. Today is now day three of me doing exactly what DoorDash wants us to do for 100 orders straight. And so far we've only done 12 deliveries, so. So basically we're accepting every single order and we're not unassigning any orders because that's what DoorDash would want from us. So far we've honestly not had many bad orders at all. Today we've already done our first two orders. Both of them were so-so. The last one we just did was from Chipotle and it was 9.75 for 11 miles, but that was a lot of freeway miles. And we've made almost $14 in a little over a half hour. So not too bad. We're heading over to a hotspot right now Hopefully we get some good orders and continue this streak because honestly we haven't had any no tip orders yet and that is a good sign. So let's keep going. Oh boy, we got our first really bad order. It's 275 for like six and a half miles to McDonald's of all places, but we accepted it. We're doing exactly what DoorDash wants us to do and we're taking this terrible order. We just pulled into McDonald's right now. I'm literally praying that it is ready when I walk in. Let's go see. There we go. Yeah, how's it going? So that last order that you guys just saw at the end of day three was order number 26. So we're not counting that order in the first 25, obviously. So for our first 25 orders, our average dollar per mile ratio was $1.18 per mile driven. Not the best, but definitely could be a lot worse when you're accepting every order. And our average payout for those first 25 orders was $7.56. So again, not too bad. Usually when you think accepting every order with a bad acceptance rate, you think like, $2.50, $3 orders, but no, on average we were getting $7.56 per order. Now it's time to go into day four and see if orders 26 through 50 are any better. So it is now day four and we're now into the 25 to 50 order range. Hopefully we do better than the first 25 orders. And so to start off, we're doing this one to New York Pizza Patrol, $17 for 13 miles, let's go. Day four was another short shift and even though my acceptance rate was higher, the orders we were getting were not very good.
Day five is when I really started to notice a change. I was consistently getting high pay orders for low mileage and a lot of orders were giving me hidden tips. I was now 40 orders in and things were definitely getting better. So right off the bat we got hit with this order from Taco Bell, first order of the day, already got it done and now we're on to our second order and it's this one from Del Taco. A better order than the first one, it's five and a half dollars for only two and a half miles, let's go get it done. I was now at a 70% acceptance rate and was expecting some big things, but as you can see DoorDash was throwing me nothing but garbage. So as you guys can see, I'm not getting many good orders right now. So that's why I wanted to stop the video real quick and let you know about the Solo app because this is an app that really helps you if you're having a hard day as a gig worker. So there's a couple different features. I have the Solo app, it's right there. You open it up and one of the coolest features it has is the insights and the pay guarantee. So as you can see, it shows you how much you can expect to make on average per hour from all the different gig apps. And what's cool is you can actually click on this schedule button and schedule out your dash. And if you don't make as much as what the Solo app tells you you're gonna make, then they will pay out the difference for you. So it makes your pay guarantee, instead of just hoping and praying to Tony himself, that he'll make a decent amount of money. This guarantees it. Now, unfortunately, not enough people in my area of Salt Lake have downloaded the Solo app, and so they don't have the amount of data they need to get this going. But it is available in a lot of cities, and if you want it available in yours, all you gotta do is download the app, link your account, and the more and more people that do that, the more and more cities it's gonna become available in. So if you use the link I have for you down below in the description and sign up for the Solo app, you're gonna get a bonus $10. Takes like two minutes to do if you're just chilling, waiting at a restaurant, or waiting to get orders. It's probably the smartest thing you can do. But anyway, now that you've downloaded that app, back to the shift. So our last two orders were just absolutely awful. We had the no tip order for like six miles and then we had the super long distance order that we just barely completed. And in an hour and 20 minutes, we've made $24. So things could definitely be worse, especially because those last two orders were ready right when I showed up. So those two orders could have been a lot worse, could have set us back a whole lot further. But we got our next order, it's the Chick-fil-A. It's taken us a little bit closer back into our zone. So it's not as bad as what it looks like on the surface because it is 425 for about five and a half, almost six miles. All right, so we just got done with this order from Chick-fil-A and we're finally back in our zone. And in two hours, we've made $37.50. Not bad considering we really haven't gotten a good order all day. It's now about 9.40. We're gonna go for probably about two more hours. We got $1 peak pay now, so hopefully that helps bring up our hourly pay. Let's go find out. All right, hold up, we gotta stop it right there for a second because we just completed order number 50. So we got some numbers to go over. Orders 26 through 25, the average dollar per mile ratio was only $1.14 per mile, which is actually worse than the first 25 orders. And our average payout for those orders was only $7.31. So once again, worse than the first 25 orders. Now does this mean acceptance rate doesn't matter? Well, that's what we're about to find out with these next 50 orders. We are back and it is just after 5.30. We already got our first order. It's to Little Caesars stack order for $15.45. Not too bad, the mileage is a little bit high, but it's all good. Hopefully we can get it done pretty quickly and just completely crushed tonight. That's what I'm hoping for. Well, unfortunately, there was a pretty long wait at the Little Caesars and it's now 6.15, so we've been at it for 45 minutes and have only made that $15.45. So hopefully we get another good order coming up soon here. I'm driving back into my zone, we'll see what happens. So check out this next stack order we just got. Absolutely amazing, $10.50 
for six miles on one order and then seven dollars for three miles on another but it says total will be higher so just an absolute beast of an order i'm hoping we can get this done super quickly i'm talking like 15 minutes that would be amazing let's go Next order, we got ourselves another great one. $9 for only 4.3 miles. And we are just doing absolutely crazy good right now. Not really any bad orders tonight. That's what I like to see. Let's keep going. Uh, yeah, I had a DoorDash for Tucker. Those two for me, thanks, appreciate it. All right guys, so in two hours we've made $59. We are just doing absolutely great. And our next order is a cash on delivery order. So the base pay is 250 and we're picking up $89 worth of Pizza Hut. So who knows how big this tip is gonna be. I'm open for like $11, maybe they just give me 100. I don't know, let's go find out. So the drop off was in a McDonald's and check this out. We got ourselves 100 bucks. That means it was an $11 tip, so $13.50 was that order for just four miles. I had now completed 61 orders and just had an amazing day five. Was my acceptance rate finally working in my favor? Well, day six basically went just as good, and for the whole shift, I ended up only getting one bad order the whole day and made $49.50 in just under two hours. So we are now 69 orders of the way through this. Will my luck continue for these last 31? Let's find out. Today is November 2nd. My acceptance rate is all the way up at 85% and we're just gonna continue to accept every order. Hi, I just had a DoorDash pickup. Oh, okay, thanks. Holy crap, we got some snow coming down now. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it was raining earlier. Now the snow's coming down and hopefully that means better orders for me. <laughs> All right, thank you. So we're now two hours of the way through this shift. We've made only $31.50. So we're doing pretty bad, but we finally got our first good order of the day. It's to Zupa's $6.50 for only one mile. An amazing order. And we're about to head into the 11 o'clock hour. So hopefully this trend continues with good orders like this one we're about to get done because we definitely need it. We are not doing so good. This high acceptance rate has not helped me out today, neither has Top Dasher, but I'm hoping that changes. Once again, we have to stop and go over the numbers because we just finished our 75th order. For orders 51 through 75, our average dollar per mile ratio was $1.35, completely obliterating the first 50 orders. And our average payout for those orders was $7.94, once again, obliteration by these last 25 orders we just did. So this is when my acceptance rate was in the high 60s to the high 70s. As you can see, it made a huge difference in the dollar per mile ratio of the orders and how high the average order payout was. It's gonna be hard to beat that, but let's see what these last 25 orders have in store. All right guys, so this last day has been absolutely terrible. Probably our worst day so far. We've had the highest acceptance rate. We started off with 89% acceptance rate. We're now at 96 and we have nine orders left. But so far today we've made $94 
in almost five and a half hours. That's really bad. But hopefully as we get into the dinner shift on this Friday, then things will pick up and we'll start getting some big orders. But we only have nine orders left, so we'll see what happens. We got our next one to Village Baker, $4 for only like one and a half miles. Let's go get it done. As the final stretch of this challenge wore on, I did start seeing some better orders and some huge hidden tips as well. But would this be enough to prove that the highest acceptance rate equaled the best pay? And now the moment of truth that we've all been waiting for, the last 25 orders. So there was actually 26 orders because that last order we did was a stack order. And I'm not gonna try and figure out how much that one order total was because I honestly can't remember. So we're going 76 through 101 orders and the average dollar per mile ratio, $1.23 per mile. And the average order payout, $7.50. So it looks like when our acceptance rate was at its highest, it was not quite as good as when it was around 75%. It was still way better than the first 50 orders we did, but those orders 51 through 75 were definitely better than the last 26 orders we did. So I guess in conclusion, it's really hard to say that having the highest acceptance rate gets you the best orders. I really think there's a sweet spot in there and I believe it's around 55 to 75% acceptance rate. That's when you'll see the best orders and the orders with the highest payout. Now, if you enjoyed watching me torture myself with those 100 orders, then I'd really appreciate you subscribing. And also, you might like this video right here. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time. Also, if you want to see the extended version of these shifts, go check out my brand new channel, More DoorDash. I'm going to be uploading there every single day. Random DoorDash shifts I filmed that I didn't upload on this channel and also some other stuff. So go check it out if you want to see more DoorDash.